We start a fucking Monday morning, kid. Good morning. Welcome to the show. I'm Warpath. Wake the fuck up. It's time to get heated. You know what I'm saying? Time to get fucking heated. Uh, let me get the camera going here. I get the I get the short version going on the intro there now, so we don't have the long, drawn intro of me fucking doing the slow walk and what and all that wooden stuff and stuffs. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody had a good weekend. It's Monday. That means it's fucking super, super drama time. Uh, let me know how my comms are coming in. I had to do some adjustments. Uh, after yesterday's show, I noticed that my, my mic and shit is just fucking super sensitive. Oh, my God. It's like, it's so sensitive. It was like, like a snowflake. You know what I mean? It's like a liberal snowflake. They just get so sensitive. Anyways. This show, as always, is brought to you by Array Gaming. Go to ArrayGaming.com. Check out the selection of gamer gear for you or the gamer in your life. Uh, right now, the 10% off code is WARPATH. Use code WARPATH. Get you 10% off your order. All orders over $75 in the U.S. Get free shipping. That's ArrayGaming.com. For everybody that's watching either the live show or the show on uh, Rumble, and more, more importantly, the people that are watching live, uh, I'm going to put a special code in the chat for everyone, and that'll get you 20% off directly. Uh, so go over there, click that link directly, get your 20% off your order, and, uh, you know, go with the flow, kid. Let it fly, you know what I'm saying? So uh, now that we got everything in order... 
Let's look at the gear setup for today. We are rocking the double action, the Mauser, and as you can see, my cards are all green except for painted black. I'm trying to switch it up. When you're playing against the NPCs, there's no real need for you to use uh, damage cards because the motherfuckers is going to go down anyways. So I'm going to save my damage cards for um, when it's uh, you know time to fucking fight some kind of grifter or something like that. So this is what I'm rocking with. Paint it black, peak condition, eye for an eye, and iron lung. All right. Bow as always. I got full, full fucking arrows on everything. Regular, small. I don't have poison anymore. Whatever, you know. I just basically rock the dynamite. I need to make more fire, and the tracking are fucking useless. So. Yeah, that's what we're rocking today. All right, let's take a look at the dailies before we get into the, today's madness. Um, okay, so pretty simple ones. I'll let you guys read them on your own because I don't like to read shit, especially when I'm all like, get, get, gap, get, 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 gorp. So, uh, the dailies. Ooh, salmon. That'll be a fun one. Toads. Toad the red sprockets. What's that? Bounty hunter? Alright. Eh. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Pretty skimples. Ooh, stories. That'll be cool for the show today. Oh my god. Don't kill any animals for 24 hours. You know, you son of a bitch. You don't kill anyone for 24 hours, you cocksucker. Alright. So that's what we're working with today. Pretty simple. Anyways, let's get the show started. Um, man. There's so much to talk about. What's up, Crips? Uh, first off, uh... I want to talk about um, the New World over Order over there at the G7 meetings. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the video of that or anything, but it's quite, it, it's quite comical, and then it's quite fucking scary at the fucking same time. You know what I mean? You got all these old, out-of-touch, fucking rich cocksuckers that are running their individual countries. And they all think that, you know, they got it all figured out. I mean, I'm sure every single one of them has been inoculated with the fucking, with the vac, um, you know, at least 40 or 50 times. And then, you know, they're still out there fucking with their mask on and giving elbow bumps and shit. And it just, it just irritates the fuck out of me, dude. That was one thing. Um, I noticed that when I went to the neurologist last week, the doctor, I went to go give him fist bump or shake his hand. He wouldn't do it. He wanted to elbow bump me. And that's something that I will fucking refuse to do. So I kind of like knuckled his elbow. You know what I mean? And he was like six feet, six feet. But there was like three feet between him and I and the small ass fucking uh, doctor's office. And then my dad was sitting right next to me. You know what I mean? So it, it makes no fucking sense. So I kind of see where my doctor's political alignment is or maybe he was just doing that to see if you know we were testing him or whatever who fucking knows anyways yeah the g7 here's the new world order and they're of course they're out there trashing trump like oh it's glad to see we got somebody that we could talk to and yeah because you know he aligns up with your fucking agenda first of all you know what i mean second of all it's, it's a fucking joke dude the, the, the mere fact that, you know, we have an illegitimate person running this country and he's going and he can't even, he can't even function or focus on the task at hand, let alone read the fucking script that's in front of him. And dude, it's just so funny. It, it's a perfect analogy. You know what it reminds me of is, okay, so... Growing up as a kid, everybody had a clique, right? You, especially in high school, you had all the cool cliques, right? You had the fucking jocks, and the fucking skaters, and the fucking nerds, and then you had the fucking preppies, and you had the rich kids. You had all these different little cliques, right? But there was always that one, that one kid that was the outsider that was always trying to get into one individual clique or the other. You know what I mean? Until finally that day, like... They let him in one of the cool clicks just because they're tired of fucking him like Oh come on guys, let me get in the click, man. I wanna get in the fucking click. Let's, come 
my bad. Gotta give me a chance to get in the fucking click, kid. And they fucking let him in. And then he's the kid that's like, well, everybody's just chilling at a party or whatever. He's the kid that's like, hey, man, I'm part of this fucking click over here. You better fucking watch yourself. This is my fucking click. You know what I mean? I run this shit. It's like, motherfucker, you barely got in there. And then they felt bad for you. That's the only way you got in. You know what I mean? It, it, dude, it, it makes no sense to me how they allow these motherfuckers to get away and do what they do, man. It's just, it, that fool's nothing, dude. He's just, he's that snotty-nosed punk kid. Perfect example. He's the rich kid from the suburbs that wants to be in the cool gang. Like, there's always a gang, right? You got a bunch of little hood motherfuckers up in the house, right? He's that he's that suburbs kid that wants to be in the cool clique. I'm just you know, has no business days. being there or anything, but that's, that's, that's who Biden is. And Kamala, dude, she's just... Come on. She's a spoiled fucking brat princess that moved around ah, from bonjour. fucking... You've been away suburb to suburb, colors, yes? fucking private school to private school, trying to pull Biden's card in the de democratical fucking, uh, when the Democrats were, you know, racing to get the president nod and whatever. She was pulling Biden's card, talking about, oh, you signed off on the bill of racism and I wasn't able to ride the bus with, my, you know, my friends and, uh, bitch, please, you never rode a fucking bus in your life. Fuck, you were getting fucking privated fucking escorted in rides meantime motherfuckers like me had to no no bullshit we had to walk to school like miles to school you know and no fucking bus and shit we walked fucking in the morning and shit get out of here with all that oh you're, you're racist you know you, you made it to where i couldn't play with my white friends get the fuck out of here bitch you know goddamn well you were fucking sheltered way. I see we have some fresh customers. Fucking bitch, dude. Can't stand these motherfucking people, dude. And you know, it's crazy because, you know, they run the world. The, the biggest crime syndicate in the world are the Democrats. And it's proof positive, man, because look, they just killed a motherfucker this weekend. The fucking reporter. I hear no I was going to gaff them up on that whole uh, Clinton tarmac you? incident a few yeah, years back, dude. You know, that treasonous act, Loretta Lynch's shit, dude, Clinton kill count just keeps getting higher and higher, man. Dude goes on national television and tells everybody that, you know, he's getting death threats and shit, he's fierce for his family and they all have codes and stuff, then all of a sudden, no, yeah, he, he committed suicide, <laughs> the fuck out of here with that shit. He committed suicide! Oh, man! Yo, I got I got some good swampland in the desert to sell you if you believe that shit! No fucking pennies on the dollar, dog! Oh, man! People, dude. I'm rolling with Tecumseh today. Tecumseh. They won't let me spell it the real way to spell it, because apparently it's vulgarity. Spell one of my fucking... One of my heroes' names is vulgar, but hey. I tried to switch it up a bit. It's a uh, Buck, Buckskin Muxting. He's got a... Bear Claw fucking... Saddlebag there. Fucking pretty badass kid. I'm gonna grab a rifle. Um, I think... Yeah, I want to work on that, and, uh, uh, I don't really want to launch arrows right now, so we'll do... <laughs> Easy boy, what the fuck was that? Yeah, we'll do these, these two here. Alright. Gotta feed my horse, right? Five times? Anyways! Yeah, let me let me look because I'm sure there's I got people watching right now. So let me look at let me look at the chat. We got Captain Stacks in the chat. Uh, Stacks says he was Epstein. Oh, totally, dude, totally Epstein. Just like um, that one staffer, her boyfriend got fucking lit up. It was supposed to be her, 
but the car exploded on the freeway and they were like, oh, fucking crazy car accident. No, oh, man, I don't know, man. I see some crazy car accidents. Dude. I never seen a fu car get fucking explode like that before, dude. That looked like that looked like one of them. Um, you know, hey, let's put a fucking pack of C4 on a fucking remote con control car. Let me get behind him in this minivan. Act like we're going to soccer practice. Let me pop open the bottom hatch, drop the remote control car down, make it fucking speed up to the next car ahead, and fucking just press the fucking A button. Ba boom! You know what I mean? That's basically what we're fucking looking at here, folks. You know what I mean, they they want to suppress and kill and all that to everyone and shit. Anybody that goes against their agenda, it's gonna be a real fucking hoot nanny. That's right, I said it. Hoot nanny. Hoot nanny. Come uh, primaries, man, because they can't put those fucking machines everywhere you know what i mean especially during a primary everybody's watching now and uh hey uh i want to give a special shout out to um the real president donald trump today's his 75th birthday man a hey, shout out to president trump happy birthday um i know a lot of my friends they they're all trumpers too man and you know, so shout out to Trump. Happy birthday, man. We miss you, dog. We really do. Real Americans know what happened. Uh, you know, this shit ain't right. I'm glad to see that you're cool. You look good right now. I saw some video of you walking around with the missus and um, and uh, Baron. So shout Wait, out to the whole Trump family. Man, let me tell you, Baron. Baron's a big boy. Holy shit, that fucking kid is fucking like nine feet tall, man. Good lord. Trump got them, them dragon jeans, dog. So shout out to them, man. You know, happy birthday, hey. Mr. Trump, Mr. President, real president. Damn, man, I wish he was in there. Shit is so fucked up right now. There was another cyber attack over the weekend, and the dude, these cyber fools are just gonna keep hitting us because they know they can. Dude, I, I mean, come on, man. Think about it. Wouldn't you... We're going to go do my favorite one here. Wouldn't you... Pick on... Look, look. It's like, hey, the, the old man is over at that house. Let's go fuck with him. Because we know he ain't really going to do shit. You know what I mean? Hey, we'll... We'll spend Marvin and Ray Ray over there to fuck with him. And we'll have them say, Black Lives Matter. And then he'll bend the knee. Marvin, Ray Ray, hey, go over there to that old man over there. Yeah, that dude over there likes to smell kids. Yeah, that one, that guy right there. Yeah, see him? Go over there, fuck with him. Tell him to fucking lick your boot. Say BLM and shit. Yeah, go do that. All right, cool. 20 minutes later. <laughs> hey, I was over there you know, licking, licking boots and you know, BLM and... Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I made a little uh, SpongeBob reference right there, right? Hey, trip on this. So, SpongeBob has a driver's license that he'll flash in a couple of the episodes, Land right? Ahoy! <laughs> if you Grab ever that plank, see. Set it down there. Whew. Permission to come aboard. If so, you ever see it, this here's the look it up. This Top dude looked up the address, so right? With it. It's Come like da, 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 da. I don't, I don't know the name of that. Ooh, I saw, I saw the there, video and the paperwork and all that shit. Uh, the whole story on. Wait, where are the but wagons? if you look it up, I, I arranged two drivers. SpongeBob lives. God damn it! I planned this whole thing. Island. Least folks can do is no show bullshit. up on time. Look it up. Train's coming in. Just, just act natural. Look it up. Everyone Fucking stay crazy, right dude. Where you are. SpongeBob lives this is Agent Reed Hickson of the Bureau of in a pineapple Revenue. under the sea. Lemuel Fox. In Epstein you Island. You are under arrest for the manufacture and distribution of an Damn, I didn't switch my cars. I gotta do that real quick while I'm taking cover. State custody, running bail, and tax evasion. 
I'm gonna run uh, Gunslinger's Choice force and uh, down upon Sniper you. one here. You just can't stop running your mouth, can you? You moronic hick. You need to watch who you talk to. Move in and bag those rats. And bring fight to me. You hold them off. I'll try and start the engine. Damn, you hold off what, 2050 dudes? I can do this all day, yeah. Pops of this. Do this real quick. Take this out. This in. Take this out. Oh no. This in. Take this out. Put this in.
Captain said, no well, wonder why they called it fucking Bikini Bottom. For Christ's sake, they're still coming! Fucking Bikini Bottom, kid. Oh yeah, it's the sweat.
I think that's all of them. Christ, that was a close one. <laughs> then. Oh. All right, these docks look clear. Let's unload and get the hell out of here. All right, that's the last one. Oh, thank you. Goddamn revenueers. It's like Hickson's got some six cents or something. I'll find how this got out, believe you me. Starting with them drivers. Can't trust anybody these days. Anyway. At least we got what we came for. I'll see you back at the house. Yeah. It is well to see you. Au revoir, patron.
people are just getting walked on. And, um, you know, I, I want to help. I want to put forth the effort and get in there. And if they can negotiate some good terms and, um, you know, make it worth my while, pay me good money and stuff, then I might consider it. I'm not supposed to, you know what I mean? It could affect my my disability claim and this and that. And I don't want to abuse that or anything by any means. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to talk to the people. You know, who knows? Maybe I can get an administration position where I'm the head ref and I can... You know, it is what it is. This 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 state especially is uh you know, really in the shitter. So I kinda I don't know if I wanna make that drive as well down below just because of you know how shitty the state is with gas and taxes and just the way everything is right now is fucking shitty. I mean, I think I, I could probably have a place to stay down there, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I have food, you know, money uh, allotted, so I have that set up. You know, I don't have to worry about any of that. It would just be like a place to sleep and make sure I get to and from work on time. Because, you know, I don't really drive anymore, man. Like, I don't. After that night where I blacked out behind the wheel and shit, and then car accident, I just, you know, kind of evaluated the situation and decided to the best that I could you know, fucking risk anybody else's life with me being behind the wheel and blacking out and shit. And that's a big issue for me if I was to go back um, to work in ref, 
you know, what what was what would be the outcome if, you know, I'm on the ice or the court or the floor or whatever. And um you know, I was just you know, I black out years now since I slept I'm on the ice and I fell I fall or whatever and I land awkwardly on the back of my around. neck or whatever and but then I've never been happier. I'm paralyzed. Because basically that's how my neck is right now, dude. Like I have um there's a spot on my neck where the fluid is so thin, there's like basically chin was basically touching my shoulder because the way I sleep is all fucking weird and shit and I just got up out of bed right Actually, might be the time I actually fucked my neck up, dude. So she choked slam me into the fucking sea, man, dude. Oh yeah, yeah let's go get the. Uh, doing story mode right now and um, it's crazy that story mode is like the way it is um, I'm actually I'm thinking about maybe doing a story stream tomorrow I may, do that, I may do that tomorrow instead of like a tutorial. I may do uh, I may do storyline. Apparently, someone had told me that I got the chapters wrong. I, it was to my understanding I was on chapter two right now, but someone told me that I was on chapter three. But I don't know. Could be going into chapter three. I'm not sure. I know that there's uh, just very few chapters, and they're all fucking long. So that's the only reason why I was wondering. But um, we're gonna continue. To talk about it.
so what I did was um, they sent me the schedule offer and I accepted the one game just to see what they say. And I'm kind of waiting for a response back. Because usually they'll send you a response back if uh, if you know you're you're like the first one to get in there. So let's see what happens and see what they say. I was uh, yeah. I was one of the highest paid dude when I left, so I'm not sure. Don't yeah. give that to me again. What the rates are now? It probably went down since we're shut down and shit. Not a lot of people can afford anything, so you know who knows. We'll we'll find out, dude. I'm not. It was just surprising to see that back on my email pop up up there, so. Just, just cool. Either way, it was. Unless it was an absolute mistake and there's another, uh. There's another person with my last name. That's on there and they accidentally put his, his uh. In I know that there was a chick with my last name. She was a female red. A two fox pups. Like there was a family of foxes in this little den, and this fucking badger kept coming and harassing them. And uh, one day, when the mom and pop were fucking up, the pups were out playing. Badger fucking got him to go down in there. Uh, Fuck them up. <laughs> Foxes are smart, dude. It's crazy. The mom, the dad was like on the hunt for the badger because the badger took off. <clears throat> and the mom was pulling the dead bodies out of the two pups. And the dad was digging a hole to bury them. It was like crazy how. Surprised my fucking um, moonshine isn't ready yet. for helping people out and stuff, but I, I gotta, I gotta run my own agenda, dude. You know, I'm not like, oh, man. just not that type of dude. Just fucking hang out. Play with my job. I 
I missed my crew and shit, but... Everybody's got their own agenda, dude. Everybody's doing their own thing, so... I don't even bother. Valentine. Oh yeah, man. Hey, during the UFC fights, <laughs> this shit's crazy, dude. <laughs> These two dudes are going at it. One gets uh, the other in an arm bar. Homeboy fucking does like a gator roll, right? Pops homeboy's elbow out of his fucking socket, dude. Uh, the ref just fucking just keeps letting them fight like you can't I mean even some a a asshole with with no experience knows that that's a fucking broken arm dude you know what I mean like come on I come to find out that the ref at that time okay so trip out before the fight starts the announcer uh, Bruce Buffett He'll, he'll, you know, he'll announce the judges and the refs and stuff. He announces this ref. I've never seen this ref before. He announces this ref. This ref, first of all, he looks older than my dad. Right? Second of all, he just looks at a place. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't look comfortable. He got that, like, I'm real nervous look. Before the fight even starts, I'm like, oh, this guy's going to, he's out of his league. He's going to get eaten up right now. Something bad's going to happen. Sure as shit. Guy goes down, takes him down, fucking arm bar. Homeboy does like a gator roll real quick. Boom! Fucking arm pops out. The elbow popped right out of the socket and was just like dangling there. And uh, homeboy was able to um, roll the arm bar into a triangle and fucking use his uh, body like springboard homeboy into his fucking elbow. Dude, he was just, he was fucking him up. Something fierce. And uh, it was fucking crazy. After the afterwards, you know, they were saying that that ref was black belt in jujitsu and shit. And I was just like, dude, how do you not see an arm f fucking flapping around like that, dude? Fucking so crazy, man. Oh shit, so fucking crazy. And that was like the only fight he did. As you know damn well, because before the matches, you get a schedule. I mean, you, you get a you get a schedule of uh, of, of you know who, who's doing what fights, who's doing the main event, you know. I'll get him. He was only scheduled for the one fight. Martial arts, though. I mean, I remember doing a jiu-jitsu tournament, and um, like, I had just been eliminated, and uh, we were all outside hanging out, and I was thinking, man, you know, now I never really, I, I never smoked or did anything when, when I was at um, uh, a tournament or uh, a fight or anything, as far as like fighting. In hockey, you know, yeah, we, we get fucked up the whole time we're at a tournament. We're in the parking lot drinking and all that shit. But when you're doing jiu-jitsu or, you know, you're you're in a pro-am match or a fight, um, you know, you really do that shit. We went outside one day, and I remember, like, walking outside, and there was this old man, dude. He was fucking old. He had 
his gi on and shit. And um, I just remember saying, damn, that old man's old. And he was just puffing away on a fucking menthol cigarette. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, holy shit, dude, that old man's gangster, dude. He was in it competes, man. I, and I used to see some hardcore old school dudes up in the um, jiu-jitsu tournaments in the Masters Division. Some old timers and shit. Them old man though, dude. That that technique always jujitsu technique over pa uh, power all day. And that's how jujitsu became famous. Uh, you know, Gracie back in the old school UFC days, man. He was beating beating dudes that were fucking two three times his size and shit. slow pace because you know old men are kind of slow and shit but like, I think I have I have like five more years before I can do a uh, master's division but I haven't trained in a cool minute dude like I tried to train class and we did warm up and it felt like off. I mean I didn't feel right. So I just kinda helped coach out. I want to though dude, don't get me wrong, I wanna get in there and, and fucking mix it up this time dude. little trick that you learn uh, usually works I want to say eight times out of ten it works grab a sniper rifle when you're doing these um, search for the clues bounty hunts just do like two full circles and it should pop up Ready for another story mission? It should be one circle. Go around one more time. Usually it works, maybe they fixed it. Cause it worked for me like last week when I was in stacks. Fuck dude, that sucks.
desert track. Goes down this way. I think I'll take her in alive, dude. She was at on this one, but it's cool. We'll just go through. Venga ya! Venga ya! Uh, let's see. Let's see, she's over here. Yeah, she is. Ahí está abajo. This is not my day to die. Done deal. Four, five minutes, too. Baby. Look at that. There's a cat over here. Let me check him out. Could have did it right there. Let me check this dude right here. Station. Was chilling.
All right. Uh, fast travel it to the moonshine shack. At the pawn shop. Do one of the ones that I haven't really played yet. Get that one going. Let me sip here. Let me take a little break, get a little sip and smoke. Patience for sure. We wish to make a good impression. These customers have shown they have some uh, good taste. Their palate is simple, of course, but given their lack of culture, uh, I have to admit that they have chosen well. These uh, jugs will arrive uh, quickly and in one piece. Yes? a good reason why I do so many different fucking voices, alright? So I don't have to fucking listen to myself in the same voice all the goddamn time.
your shit, your shit, your shit. Oh yeah, I love when that dead aim, that free aim pops up. That blew that fucking guy's head right the fuck off. Hell yeah. Alright, here behind the fucking the cat. Fucking in the cat here, this little fucking box. You gotta fucking go watch. In the box, this will go watch. I'm on board.
this out. Yeah, you know what? Leave oh. that stick. <laughs> go back, can't, or, uh, go back. He's at, let me grab that, um, Horse in the game, man. Mustang. I'm telling you right now, dude. Better with anybody. Fuck your fucking out. Little fucking stud horses stats. right here at this spot. Get the fuck out of here, dude. No way. Imagine that the next game um, <laughs> outlaw pass is gonna be it's gonna be at least you have to figure the last one was what 30 gold bars 25 gold bars but it was like a half a fucking pass so I'm thinking what was the original one I think I got I think it was 40 and then I did the whole, um, it was like 4.99 for the 25 bars or something like that. And then, because uh, it was Christmas time, so I had a bunch of fucking uh, Xbox cards for Christmas. And I was just cashing them in, dude. Boom, 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 boom. I was fucking playing this game like the world was ending the next day if I didn't get to fucking the next level and shit. I think it will be a year, yeah, it'll be a year in December for sure, because I started playing this game December 17th. 
God, so specific on the date warp here. Have to be specific, you know what I mean? Like, people want to know these things. I was playing story mode the other day. And I went to the gunsmith, and they had the M1899 in there. And that was supposed to be for PC only. So, I'm, I'm pretty pretty stoked to see if they're going to bring that that gun in, man. Because I'm telling you right now, man, I did, I did a stat thing. And that gun is going to be one of the best guns to get, the M1899. And I think I'm going to pair it with the fucking Colt, bro. I think I'm going to pair it. With uh, the original, the cattleman, I should say. This will be a little out of the ordinary, yes? I mean, if I could go back to the semi auto, but dude, I just don't like that big ol'. Looks like a fucking. Like a nutsack coming off the back, which goes off your you? wrist and shit. I don't like that, the way that gun's made. That's one of the big reasons why I wasn't a big fan of the Luger. Howdy. All right, Max, let's get another story in. Let's do one we haven't done in a long time. Um, where there's smoke, there's fire water. That's on standard. You know what? Let's do that one on hard. Let's fucking do it. What do you guys say? We got like 15 minutes left. Let's see if we can knock it out.
transport there, friend. Not bad.
misery coming your way, traitor!
Hey there. You made it in one piece. So we good then? Excellent. That just sent a clear enough message. I'd say you've earned yourself a drink. Thought I'd find you here. What the hell you think you're playing at? It's all right. That was a real dumb move. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought I warned you. You know, all them years, I never realized just how much a coward you really are. You go to hell, Maggie. Oh, I already have. And let me tell you, you will like it. My God. Just look at these bastards, Danny Lee. You think I'd give a single damn about you? I mean, who's this sap? Bartholomew Braithwaite. Yeah, I know who you are. So, your family's running moonshine now, huh? How the mighty have fallen. You're finished. Stay finished. Oh, I swear, next time, you'll burn for good. You know, next time you should send someone more intimidating. Don't you worry about that. Come on. Thanks for stopping by, fellas. Oh, I have barely even started. Come on, let's have that drink. <laughs>